Hallo en welkom to the channel. Allemaal mannen zijn today, we'll do the top 10 best songs for karaoke. Ja, beliefd was de title. So, I'm doing this one. Ja, ja, wel alles dead on the fucking nose. Best songs for karaoke. Uh, it was either this one or tot een girl groups of all time. And you know, don't get me wrong, I don't, you know. I'm not like, you know, the most generic bloke out there that only likes the most manly things ever. You know, I do like uh, feminine stuff too. But the, the thing is, you know, girl groups are just kind of shit to be honest. Like, you know, the ones that I can think of are fucking TLC and Destiny Child. And I'm not necessarily like really a big fan of either of them. And they are pretty much the top two right there. So, you know, anything below that is going to be even worse than that for me. So, yeah, no thanks for that. So, we're doing karaoke. Um, I'm not a huge karaoke guy. I don't really, like, sing. I don't really go out in public. I don't have any friends. So, yeah, so I don't really fuck with that shit, you know. Um, so, no. Uh, Vanilla Scumbag is the thumbnail. Fuck that guy. The the shake your butt guy is the the the, the slideshow. Um, I'm the sir mix a lot. I'm not even sure how the song's called again, but that is his name. One in wonder bloke, just ask the vanilla eyes. So, uh, fuck them both. Or yeah, I'm not even mentioning that bitch. I mean, I mean, you know what I was just leading up to. Uh, so those two will make the list. Um, not per se fuck sir mix a lot, but just the. Well, the one who covered it, you know who it is. Um, what else? Um, oh yeah, I believe Robbie Williams is on there because his music is so fucking easy. But I'm subscribed to the guy though because I do like his music. Uh, but his music is way too easy, you know, so a lot of people can sing along to it. So, those three. Maybe an year. I mean, everything on this list is going to be really slow as uh, like melancholic pop music or melancholic uh, fucking... Just really slow emotional pop music, so or pop rap in this case. Just everything is gonna be pop. Just let's um, you know keep that in mind. Uh, skip the shit yet. Jesus Christ. At least is an ad I give a shit about. Like, move on. The music is sent sentimental as hell though. Like really uh, over emotional, like this whole list right now. It's Japanese for tone deaf. Pretty. I wish I was deaf right now, I can tell you that. Fuck no. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 karaoke songs. Rush Hour 2. For this list, we've decided to pick one song per category that we Yeah, it's supposed to sound bad, I know, that's the joke. It's not funny, it's just cringe. Oh god, I love this song. If it's overplayed, it's arguably not, 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 not a classic anymore, but... You can say that about a lot of songs though, but I guess they still are classics. So that's kind, of, that's kind of up in the up in the air, I would say. Love it when amateurs sing the lyrics. Number ten, country, friends in low places in the style of Garth Brooks. Oh, so they're mixing it up because they said country, so it's gonna be like ten different genres or something. That's interesting. I will give much much some credit for that that they mix up the genres and shit. Yeah, I mean I've. Uh, sing my praise or uh, sing my praise. I, I have uh, given Garth Brooks some credit that he is not like a generic country artist to me at least and he sounds somewhat compelling so I do get Garth Brooks' acclaim. Uh, I'm not a huge country fan of course, I hate country but I think that he, Hank Williams and Johnny Cash are alright in my book. Even though I know uh, Garth Brooks is a scumbag and he's like a really like marketing douchebag but he is a smart businessman, though, I can't deny that. I like the Thunder Rolls, that's a good song. Depending on where you're karaoke, uh, this song sounds okay too. It all pretty much just sounds the same, so you can't really go wrong. Of course, it always helps when the song is about drinking yourself stupid. This Garth Brooks tune is a karaoke favorite, so if you're dying to get folks yelling yeehaw, it's a solid choice. Get your 
flying on, hit those low notes hard, and don't worry, everyone will join in at the chorus. Extra dogs. Number nine, ballad, Angels, in the style of Robbie Williams. Why did I say it like that? In the style of Robbie Williams. Um, don't they just mean Robbie Williams, as in he performs it? What? But I mean, yeah, yeah, you, you, they probably mean you have to sing it as Robbie Williams or something. I don't know what I mean. This is like the widest music ever, but I do like Ruby Williams. What's one thing newbies always forget? Up tempo is best at karaoke. If you insist on doing a ballad, make sure you're not tone deaf or your fellow patrons will take a bathroom break. Nice. It's really difficult to mess up this song now, I will tell you that. This is one of the easiest songs out there. In all its midified glory, Angels is a popular karaoke slow jam. Because, because it's so fucking easy. Because a lot of people know it, it's not too difficult, and it lets you show off, if you're into that sort of thing. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a Whitney Houston kind of thing. Like, it's a really easy song, but, uh, you know, when, whenever you get to the core, that is the part where you kind of have to have some, like, gutsy vocals, otherwise you're not going to break through. But the thing is with Robbie Williams, you, you kind of just have to go and through with all... You know, you, you kind of have to go a bit up, whereas with when you use, you have to go, of course, you know, you have to, like, go to that really, like, upper mountain note, whereas with Robbie Williams, you just kind of have to step it up a bit. So, it, it's, it's pretty much just I will always love you in easy mode. That's just kind of what this song is. I, I hate that. I, I hate that performance right there because like people love it because it's so like overbloated and over emotional and it's just like she just sh she just shows off too much. That, that's my problem with this performance right there. She just shows off too much um, and not that you can't show off of course you can do that but like it's supposed to be an easy song on the air and whenever you Whenever you go like that, like her, in that registered tone, you kind of ruin the whole magic of the song. It's supposed to sound easy on the ears and just pleasant, and you're just kind of like... Like you're putting too much effort in the song, that's kind of the problem here. And yeah, it's, it's kind of like you're overworking, so you kind of ruin the simple magic of the song. That damn fucking pose here in this bitch. It's just overbloated. It's just like she, yeah, she overdid it, you know, this kind of thing, honestly. Joan Jett, um, she loves rock and roll. Um, I'm not a huge rock and roll guy, you know, in, in the most definitive version of rock and roll, like the, like, literal rock and roll music. I'm not the biggest fan of that. Um, I do like, I, I love rock music, of course, but, you know, as in the term literal rock and roll, not a huge fan of it. Number eight. Easy. But she's not going for that, I, I get it, but you know, um, by the way, I'm not a big fan of the song either. I love rock and roll, in the style of John Jack Easy. Yeah, I mean, um, if you really look at it though, like, it's not easy to sing this song. Like, I, I was like, you can't, this is, um, I will always love you kind of in easy mode. This is not I will always love you, but this is just like an, a fucking beginner song. You don't even have to sing in a high note or something. It's just like you can just sing like this. No, 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 no. And then we're singing like this. Yeah, this. You, you know, you can just sing in that really low note. And you don't really have to like challenge yourself. You can just do that. So if you're starting out, this is a good beginner song for you. But the problem is, it's not really impressive to hear. If someone sings this to me, I will not be impressed, you know, I will not be like, wow, you have a great voice, I'm just kind of like, can't you play, can't you sing a better song or something, like, fuck no. And the black hearts. I think the problem with me with karaoke is that um, the easy songs are, it's not interesting to hear, because if, if your vocals are just meh, I want to hear the instruments, but in karaoke, it doesn't matter if they're good instruments, it's all about the vocals in karaoke. That's probably why I don't really care for karaoke, because I'm more of an instrument guy myself. Um, 
Yeah, and I mean, if you are gonna show off, like the fucking I will always love you or kind of feel in a way, you you gotta have a good vocal for that. And yeah, I don't know, I don't see a lot of people having good vocals that participate in karaoke, no offense, but I just don't see it happening. Because if you have a good vo if you have good vocals, you're probably not in the bar singing karaoke. Shots fired. Why is this song so easy? It's not too high, not too low. Because it's basic, basic bitch rock and roll music. It rocks, and we defy you to find anyone who doesn't know the chorus, which is perfect because they repeat it. Over yeah, if you don't know the chorus, you're living under a rock and roll. Kill me. Classic guitar riff gets everyone going, and that scream lets you win the audience back if you've been singing. Like, why are they singing both? It ruins the whole fucking purpose of the song. I hate that scream. It's so easy, even I hate the scream in the original, too. Oh, uh, fucking, fucking shots fired, listen to this. I do, I do like that jab right there, good jab with Mojo. I mean, I probably like the Britney Spears uh, out the most because... I mean, she just has to sexualize everything, but at least it sounds more interesting than the new original. I just kind of hate it, to be honest. Number seven, rap, Ice Ice Baby, in the style of... Yeah, probably the, the widest, most easiest rap you can do is the Vanilla Ice one. Like, it's just easy mode Eminem, that's just what it is, really. Granted, Eminem is already really mainstream. And then you have Vanilla Ice, who, like, is even, like, easier than that. You know, Eminem is a pretty skilled rapper. But Vanilla Ice is just, like, uh, he is not skilled, but he is on that, like, service level, like, uh, easy listening Eminem level. But he doesn't have the skills that Eminem has, of course. So yeah, Vanilla Ice is pretty much perfect for this lid, but I mean he sucks of course. Fuck Vanilla Ice. Unless you've memorized the lyrics, you could be in trouble once you get past the verse you actually know. However, you might make it through a novelty song like Ice Ice Baby. Plus the nostalgia factor and I mean if you butcher vanilla or vanilla ice, if you butcher Ice Ice Baby, uh, I feel really bad for you. Catchy hook will have people. Oh well not really, you're just dumb for playing a vanilla ice tune, fuck you. Take the pressure off. That's a great song. It is. Alternate choice. Um, X for Dogs. Baby got back by Sir Mix a Lot. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You are the friend. Number six. Friends is not funny. Six. Duet. Summer nights in the style of John Travolta and Olivia Newton John. Grease is overrated. Come at me. Man, I'm getting all of the dislikes today. Oh, that's an awful vocal right there, Jesus Christ. It was probably not supposed to sound good because um, it probably just, you know, it's probably for comedy, uh, for comedy's sake, but singing badly for comedy's sake, that's not a good comedy right there. Let me tell you. I have a question, uh, SNL, oh Jesus Christ, that's fucking face right there. Look at the fucking face of the, the, the left upper one. Fucking nightmare fuel, Jesus Christ. Like all of them arguably, except for the, the middle one, who is from Dirty Rock. Oh, the, the fucking, oh that face. Like, it's so terrifying, you can't look away from it. I hate her face. This song has the make uh, I hate all their faces. Mark said I, the, I do like the Dirty Rock guys though. I, I might watch Dirty Rock again, that was a good show. Um, what's the thing? Was SNL ever funny? I don't think SNL was ever funny. I, I don't, I've never left at Saturday Night Live. Well, except for um, the Weezer skit, but I probably found it more funny when I was into Weezer, so there you go. I agree with the with the, the chick in, in that video, if you know what I mean. Of a fun boy -girl duet. Sure. The guy with the Weezer opinion is trash. You may not know the and the band is trash, there you go. But women almost 
And SNL is trash. It's all trash, mate. Oh, that's kind of a creepy lyric. He was sweet and he just turned 18. So did you think he was sweet before that too? Because that would make that would make you a pedo, damn. I'm not judging, but damn. That's creepy to say. Yeah, but I mean before that you played Glee though, so you're kind of fucked either way. Kid Rock, Jesus Christ, God bless Kid Rock, fuck that guy, um, <laughs> sing along. Sing along, don't stop believing in the style. Don't stop believing. Journey. Ah, great song, of course, can't deny it. Yeah, classic, it's just great music. It's the OG four chord song, so you can't I can't shit on it of course because it's created the, the generic four chord formula. This into a karaoke staple. Oh the movie never ends it goes on and on and on and on and on It's often times a night because It was funny in my head though when I imagined Quagmire doing that. Um Well I mean Family Guy back then was watchable though, so yeah. Family Guy wasn't always terrible. Gets the crowd singing along, and that makes karaoke bartenders. Glee is awful though. I mean, Family Guy too now, but. But I mean, the difference is Family Guy used to be good. I mean, Glee was always shit, so there you go. Not that it matters, but they, they're showing it to me, so I might as well throw my opinion in there because it's my fucking video. Even though most can't do Steve Perry. Like, Justin. Glee is garbage. Get the fuck out of here, mate. <laughs> Rock like just listen to community, they like that guy in the fucking paintball episode, uh, what did they say? And, you know, shooting Glee members out of a fucking tree with a paintball gun. Make some of your own damn fucking songs. Like I always mention that community clip uh, when whenever the Glee is on there because it's so fucking true. And it's just a way better show, just watch community. Like, I'm gonna be honest here, I'm more of a com uh, community guy than I am a Donald Glover fan. I'm mentioning that because Donald Glover was, you know, he was a part of community before his solo career. And most people know him for his rap career. I don't really care for his rap career, I just, I'm more like him in community. So there you go. He worked great off of Abed. It was a, like, Abed is basically just like that really, like, white dork from the Big Bang Theory. But... It's better, you know, it's a funnier show. Four, Deadly, my way in the style of Frank Sinatra. Oh yeah, as in Deadly, it's like impossible to do. You're, you're, you're gonna butcher this regardless. It's fucking Frank Sinatra, of course you're gonna butcher it. Regrets, I've had a few. But then again, too few. I did it my way. Ah, it's way higher than that, I know, but... I can kind of do it, but in a low tone. I can't like high sing it though. Have been killed for singing this song off key at karaoke. Yeah. Don't don't off key sing Frank Sinatra. Like, either do it or don't. You know, it's there's no middle way. Without exemption. Like, don't butcher my boy Frank Sinatra. Karaoke rage doesn't deter you. This is a good pick. It is one of history's most covered songs. I do think that the Elvis tune is good too, or the, the Elvis version. Yeah. The 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 creepy old guy trying to impress the the young, the young impressionable girls. Yeah, I, I could definitely see that. The creep. Yeah. Number oh, three. Right. Uh, yeah, um, it's, it's long now. I do, um, I'm kind of done with being a Rhapsody right now. I just heard it too much. Long songs are a kill. But I mean, it is a masterpiece song though, but I think, like I only have to hear it like, like, um, once a year or every three years or something. Like I don't have to like really hear it again. 
But it is a classic song though, yeah, you can't deny it. Is it Charles Manson? No, it's 2011, so I believe Charles Manson was already long in jail. Some killer air guitar okay. the break, Interesting. And don't hurt yourself when you get to that high note. Yeah, um, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, Queen. Rock on. Just ask Wayne and Garth. What's going to be a thumbnail? Uh, fucking vanilla. I was like Eminem, but no vanilla eyes. No, fuck that. Fuck that. The world hours. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't think there was like anything better than Queen though, so I might as well put them on the tunnel. Um, Grease, fuck that noise. Vanilla Eyes, no. What else was on this list? Joan Jazz, fuck no. Um, is there like nothing better? Robbie Williams. Maybe, I don't. Uh, Garth Brooks, no. Um, yeah, like literally, Queen is like the first good act on there in Journey, maybe. I don't really, oh yeah, uh, well yeah, Frank Sinatra, yeah. I'm probably gonna throw Frank Sinatra on the tune now. Number two, break up, I will survive in the style of Gloria Gaynor. And I grew strong, and I learned how to get along. I do think this is a good song though, but um, I don't know. I think that Gloria Gaynor's kind of dated. She's kind of like a one and wonder act for me, so. I don't know. I mean, one of my fans had Gloria Gaynor on his playlist, but I said like it's like boring and dated music, so I believe he deleted it again because he's a fucking sheep. I do like Gloria Gaynor. She has a great voice, but like, what else does she have other than this song? I don't really. I doubt it. I doubt she has anything other than that. As in, as good as that song. It is a good song, of course. It's kind of overplayed, but it, it is a good song. Girl power or gay anthem, but either way, it's fun to sing as an fu to your ex, and it leaves lots of room for swagger and disco dance moves. Is it really a fuck you to your um, ex? It's more like just an independent song of saying I will survive without you. I don't need you. It's not necessarily a flip off song. It's just kind of like a song that stays that you're uh, um, an independent um, man or woman that can fend for themselves. So, yeah, I don't know, it's just kind of like a defensive anthem, I suppose. Another good breakup song is Alanis Morissette's You Oughta Know, oh, but you oughta be careful with it. You oughta be careful. Yeah, I oughta, I oughta be careful with me playing Alanis Morissette because she has copyright strike my ass before, so fuck her for that. Number one. I don't like that um, vocal. Um, I mean, I kind of like, I grew to kind of respect the Lance Morse, but I fucking hate Bon Jovi. Like, who like who likes Bon Jovi that has a critical ear for music? I mean, no one. Like, no critic likes Bon Jovi. I mean, come on. Rock, living on a prayer. Not that it matters, because Bon Jovi is, like, really famous, and, you know, every, like, Normcore, whitecore, uh, trash, white mom loves Bon Jovi, of course. Every soccer mom loves them, but like they're arguably um, the OG Maroon 5 or something, or fucking um, Chicago. I, I don't know. I, mm, I don't know. I did say I hate Chicago, though, but no, I don't know. I think Chicago's alright now. Uh, I fucking hate Bon Jovi, though. I love Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. I just hate this song. It's so formulaic and predictable and bland. Like if you've heard the first couple of notes, you know where this is going. It's just repeating the cycle. Like how are they considered a glam metal act? This is fucking pussy ball. Like this is an, ev uh, an even softer Def Leppard. Def Leppard already is soft as shit and this takes the balls out of that. The little balls that Def Leppard has. This is really a good karaoke song. I just think it's a shit song, to be honest. If you can't belt out the chorus at the top of your lungs, if you can, like, if you pick the song, you, you're fucking tone deaf. I mean, come on. Don't even bother. Or just let the crowd. Don't even bother with the song. I agree. Why is it number one then? 
Bon Jovi does. Yeah, I mean, John Bon Jovi doesn't even do it anymore. Like, he doesn't give a shit. Do you agree with our list? What's your Bon Jovi is fucking awful. Do you karaoke jam? Like, them included into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame just because they have, like, big rock hits. It's, it, like, it's a fuck all reason. Like, by that reason, Fall Out Boy and fucking Five Seconds of Summer and that other band. Yeah, I believe those two bands. Um, those two bands can make it on there too because they have big rock hits. Or, I mean, I don't even think they're fucking rock bands. Fuck them. I mean, those bands can make it into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame too, but that's by that reasoning, you know. Bon Jovi was never a good band, but they got in there because they had big rock hits. Like, the reasoning behind it is fuck all. For more great you suck balls. Top tens. Be sure to subscribe to Watch Mojo. You have no taste in music. The soothing sounds of rock. The cable guy. Jim Carrey isn't funny. Never was, never will. Um, call me out for that. I don't care. Uh, this list was kind of balls. Tequila is my personal favorite. Favor route for karaoke. Wow, that's that's spelling. God damn. It's got 200 likes though. It's on top of the fucking Wow, it's on top of the fucking comments and it's it's misspelled it's really bad. My my karaoke song is never gonna give you up by Rick Ashley. What a fucking troll. Where the hell is Wonderwall? It will come up uh, like three times at every karaoke evening. Yeah, I have to be honest here, I don't really like Wonderwall anymore. I think the, the vocals are kinda of fuck all by Liam Gallagher. It's so, it's so easy, even Britney can do it. Uh, a lot of like rambling, lol. Yeah, exactly. How did she leave of Sweet Caroline? That is crowd engagement song. What is Sweet Caroline again? Sounds familiar, but I can't really come up with it right now. The perfect song where you're karaoke, karaoke drunk is Hey Jude period. Yeah. Like you don't have to have any brain cells to sing that song. Uh, no Dancing Queen. What kind of moronic list is this? Yeah, exactly. Like for that. Take On Me by Aha is a brilliant song for karaoke. It is overplayed as shit, but I agree with that. Uh, the amount of Glee on this list, exactly. But, I mean, it's for example, so Glee is easy to pick, I guess. But it's, it's fucking shit, I mean, come on now. How else uh, will, that, will that show get views if, it, if they don't steal good songs? Yeah, exactly. Because they can't write good songs, like, fuck them. It's actually Japanese for empty orchestra. Really? Oh. Yeah, I, I was like, the, the tone deaf joke, that has to be a joke, right? Yeah, it was. Jeb, of course. Um, how how much your mother was? What was? Uh, the Element song? Uh, isn't that a Tears for Fear song? No, I think it is a Tears for Fear song, or it is Tears for Fear song, The Element, I believe. Uh, I'm thinking about the perfect element right now, but that's, but, but that's by a metal band, so never mind. Honorable mentions uh, are every uh, are every Aerosmith, Bon Jovi, Queen, Def Leppard, etc. song ever. No, not all of them, but sure. You had Honey in voice tonight, Raw. I don't know. I don't know what it means. Uh, there should be one category called boy band. Let's face it, we all sing along to popular boy band songs. Yeah, even I can deny that. I do sing along to some uh, Backstreet Boys. I, I I can deny them. I like them. Um, didn't even have to admit it right here on the spot, but there you go. Like, I'm seeing YMCA right now. I'm probably gonna add it to like my favorite pop songs or like the best pop songs ever. Also, you forgot YMCA. There's never been a high drunk level karaoke without the jam. Yeah, I'm gonna add uh, YMCA to the list uh, to my favorite, uh, to my top 100 pop songs ever. It is out. Watch it or click on it. Listen to it. It's great. I love it. Um, probably gonna add YMCA on there because that's 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 the jam. That's the greatest one. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, last video for the Watch Mojo week right now. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna listen to some albums right now. Gonna do it? No, I can't. Uh, I'm dumb. Thanks for watching this video. Karaoke is dumb. I'm dumb. Everyone is dumb. Fuck everyone. I'm great. Watch me. Um, there you go. Flawless logic. I will see you in the next one. Like and subscribe to the channel for future lives. One uh, share. Uh, share my video with your fans, with, with your friends, uh, do all the good stuff and uh, to support the channel. I, I can't fucking burp anymore. Um, I'm gross. I will see you in the next video. Peace.
Fuck Gary Ogan. While I'm doing it, I didn't have any other request. Leave me alone.